Hi, I'm Dr. Puech from Paris. Uh, I'm working in a center which name is uh, Explore Visions uh, in Paris. We have opened a second site just on the west part of Paris, only focus on ophthalmic imaging. In fact, I've changed my way of practicing ophthalmology. I've stopped surgery and usual ophthalmology, uh, only to focus my professional activity on ophthalmic imaging. And so making this while working like a radiologist, uh, with patients referred by other ophthalmologists for many, many checkup with uh, imaging. Uh, we produce quite 20 different procedures and uh, making this uh, past year we have practiced uh, 40,000 uh, different procedures for patients. With light uh, conditions, uh, the pupil is in meiotic condition and so the angle is more open than uh, when in dark. When we are in dark, uh, the pupil have a dilation and the contraction of the iris can be different in each patient. And we can see um, the angle with a contraction of the iris and the angle remains open, but in few patients the angle is closing and this kind of test can show us how the angle is moving during the, the patient is sleeping uh, because uh, we can observe just in few seconds the closing of the, of the angle uh, but it, it's just in few seconds but when the patient is sleeping he's sleeping all the night long and so after one hour and two hours and three hours, the angle will be very, very uh, close and probably the, the crisis of uh, acute glaucoma will, will, will occur. Gonioscopy is very useful in current practice of ophthalmology uh, to assess the opening of the angle, to assess the, the color of the angle. But when we want to observe the opening of the angle by night, it's very difficult because in usual practice we have always lightening of the under segment. So with ultrasound we have a benefit at this point by, uh, see, by uh, imaging the angle uh, by night. We can see that uh, we can observe the angle with light switch on and light switch off. Uh, and we can observe the dynamic modification of the, of the angle. UBM is particularly useful um, just when the, the mechanism of the angle closure is not very well uh, identified. Uh, we can have few mechanisms of uh, angle closure. And so uh, when you have a, a narrow angle uh, on every quadrant, you don't know if it's a uh, cyst, if you have many cysts, if you have just angle closure risk, or if you have uh, um, plateau iris mechanism. And so this is very useful to use UBM uh, in order to observe the different situations with light and dark and to observe the mechanism of closing of the, of the angle. Plateau iris um, have been considered to be very, very rare and very, very um, few patients will, be, uh, will, will present this, this uh, particular mechanism. Uh, in fact, uh, practicing UBM since many years in France and uh, uh, practicing UBM for many, many ophthalmologists referring the patients, we practice uh, quite 40 UBM examinations for the angle each day. And uh, making this, we have been surprised that uh, in Caucasian patients, the anterior positioning of the, of the proce seri processes are not so rare. It's very, very, very frequent with more and more aging of the, of the, of the patients. And the, the, um, the crystalline, uh, the lens factor is very important. Uh, and so we know that even if the anterior positioning of the seri processes is, is one point, but the added to the, 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 the lens factor that will be probably for older patients another way of making acute glaucoma crisis. And so in my mind it's very important to detect before the treatment if these particular patients have an anterior positioning of the seri processes because that had a way of, um, uh, that can add some elements to uh, create this kind of treatment. We have many, many machines to observe the angle. 
uh, we have the choice to observe the gonioscopy uh, way of doing and to observe the angle with OCTs or with UBM. At this part, UBM has a huge advantage, is the penetration of UBM. And UBM is the only way of uh, visualization of the um, serial processes position. And so UBM, in our practice, is the only machine we can use to have a complete observation of the angle. With OCT, we can have a notion of the opening angle, to this angle is open or closed, but we don't have the solution of the mechanism. And only with UBM, with the mechanism, do we have cysts, do we have plateau arrays, do we have just angle closure, and this is the main point for UBM uh, in, in, in the observation of the narrow angle.